Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. I'm here to bring you the lesson for today and to go over the assignment documents. And we are going to be talking about transitions today. So, um, all right, people, let's do this. Here we go. Happy Tuesday. Today's Cinco de Mayo, or some of you guys might refer to this as Taco Tuesday on the regular basis, but how fitting is it that Cinco de Mayo falls on a Taco Tuesday? So uh, I know Flavio and I and Ken Turner are going to have tacos tonight for dinner. What are you going to have for dinner tonight? I'm curious to see how many of you guys are going to also be eating tacos. All right, so here's our Tuesday document. Continue drafting your story. If you haven't, if you didn't start yesterday, then today's the day to get started on drafting your story. Okay, write down your basic events from your story mountain, and then let's talk about adding dialogue and vivid descriptions in this at this later on this morning at 10:30 a.m. for my homeroom and 11 a.m. for Miss Bowling's homeroom. We're also going to be reviewing our motivation ELA answers from ye yesterday. So um, today you're going to be working in your motivation ELA book. Um, you're going to answer question nine on page 262. Make sure you look at pack in the passage and use the details to support your answer. Please type your answer here on the answer documents. Do not write them in your book. I want them on the answer document so I can read through them because we're gonna be reviewing these on Thursday. All right, type your response to literature and then you're going over verb tenses, synonyms, and punctuating your sentences with dialogue. We've done a lesson over this, over most of these things already. So I'm looking to do for accuracy here, guys. And that's it for today. So really take time today since um, we have three things to do. Take time today to work on your um, writing okay all right transitional words and phrases so let's watch a video to introduce transitional words okay all right i think we're good now Today we're going to be talking about how to use transition words and phrases. What are transition words or phrases? They're words that help ideas in writing to flow. Examples of transition words. Therefore, as a result, and in conclusion, However, in fact, and then. Consequently, lastly, in fact. For example. After that, soon, yet, in the same way. To figure out which transition will go best, first you need to read the sentence before. Here is an example of how you might have to figure out the best transition word on a test. Which of the following transition words could best be used at the beginning of sentence four? However, also, therefore, for example, the question says sentence four, that means you will first need to read sentence three. So you're going to go back to read. Sally wanted to go shopping. She decided not to because the mall was too crowded. So what would be the best transition word? Even though the question asks about sentence four, you need to read sentence three first. Remember, these are your answer choices. However, also, therefore, for example, 
Allie wanted to go shopping play. She decided not to. I try out each answer choice by reading it between sentence three and four. This is how answer choice A sounds between the two sentences. Sally wanted to go shopping. However, she decided not to because the mall was too crowded. Remember, however is just a fancy word for but. Sally wanted to go shopping. Also, she decided not to because the mall was too crowded. This is choice B. Also is our transition word. Let's see how answer choice C sounds. Sally wanted to go shopping. Therefore, she decided not to because the mall was too crowded. Therefore is a fancy word for so. Does that make sense? Answer choice C. Sally wanted to go shopping. For example, she decided not to because the mall was too crowded. For example, is their transition word. Does that fit with the, sen with the sentences? Now that you've tried all the choices, can you figure out the right answer? However, also, therefore, for example. The correct answer is A, however. Good job, guys. Give yourself a pat on the back if you got it right. All right. So let's continue on. When you visit a restaurant for the first time, you read the menu. Why is this necessary? Do you think? Make sure. Um, hold on. Okay. All right, so when you first visit a restaurant for the first time, you read the menu. Why is this necessary? The menu, the menu tells you what your meal options are, okay? So today you're... All right, so you're going to get a sheet of paper, and we're going to create a menu that you will be able to use when you are writing. It'll tell you what your options are for when you want to use a single word in your writing. So you're going to fold a sheet of paper into four squares. You should have four squares. This. All right, and you're gonna cut along that top folded line. I gotta get some scissors. I forgot the scissors. Okay. So the line that's folded, so you've got to check to make sure it's the folded part. So you're gonna cut along that top folded line in both places. Like this. Okay. So you should have a little book that looks like that. Okay. All right. So staple your pages together, or you can just do a crease. Or in my case, I only have tape, so I'm just going to put a little tape for now. keep it together okay and now on the cover page you're going to write the title of your of your menu And I'm doing this with you guys so you guys can see how it looks. So now I have my title page. All right. Pause the video if you need more time, guys. All right. A menu is divided into sections. So we have appetizers, entrees, beverages, sandwiches, salads, and desserts. These all help us find what we're looking for on the menu. So in this same way, you're going to divide your writing menu into sections also. 
So on this, here's my title page. On my inside cover, I'm going to label it addition. Okay, my next page, I'm gonna do contrast. So it should look like this so far. Addition and contrast. I hope you guys can see it. Okay, then you're gonna go to the next page. And you're gonna label it comparison. And consequence. Okay. This is what it should look like. All right. And then you're going to do the next three pages. We're going to have emphasis. Illustration. It should look like this, emphasis and illustration. And then on the back, you're going to write summary. And this will be something that you guys keep with you even in fifth grade. So make sure you keep up with this. All right, so you might find these options under the appetizer page of a food menu. Nachos, onion rings, chicken wings, crab cakes, spinach, and artichoke dip. In a similar way, later, we will add options to each page of our writing menu. For now, you can write also, furthermore, in addition, and moreover. Before we begin, though, let's talk about why it is important to use transition words in our writing. Transition words connect our ideas and make our sentences flow better. Transition words keep our paragraphs from sounding disjointed and choppy. First, read this paragraph. It does not contain transition words. When Blake's braces were removed, he was supposed to wear his retainer at all times, except when he was eating. He didn't listen to his orthodontist and he only wore them once or twice a week. His teeth shifted back to their original places. All right, now let's read it with transition words. When Blake's braces were removed, he was supposed to wear his retainer at all times, except when he was eating. However, he didn't listen to his orthodontist, and he only wore them once or twice a week. Consequently, his teeth shifted back to the original places. Which one did you like better, the one with the transition words or the one with no transition words? Do you agree that the writing was rather choppy when transition words were omitted, which means that they, were, they, didn't, they weren't there? but more smooth when they were used. Words that signal addition. Open your menu and add these words to your addition page. Also, furthermore, in addition, and moreover. These transition words and phrases can be used to connect related ideas. Go ahead and add them to your menu. Ms. Casada is adding them also. Okay. All right, pause the video if you need more time. Fill in the blank with a transition word or phrase that you think fits best. The pilgrims did not join a pleasant trip sailing across the ocean on the Mayflower. They were cramped into a small place and the rocky waves made most of them feel a great deal of seasickness. They were given no privacy and they had to use a chamber pot for a toilet. So which one? Also, furthermore, in addition or moreover? Furthermore is a good one. Note, all four, all four addition transition words could be used in this blank. There is no one correct answer. So if you said also, you would be correct. I like, I was thinking in addition. So all four of these words would fit because they're showing that we're adding to what we're saying. 
right? Even though my grandmother is retired, she is always busy. She volunteers at the food pantry and the local library. As a member of the school board, she attends meetings regularly. Blank, she has 11 grandchildren and she makes it a point to try to attend all of our extracurricular activities. Which transition word best fits this sentence? Moreover, or any of the other ones. Yesterday's storm caused substantial property damage. Our neighborhood's trampoline tumbled into the side of our house and now the siding on that side of the house needs to be replaced. Blank, most of the people who live on my street report that they will need to replace their roofs because of the baseball sized hail that fell during the storm. In addition, most of the people who live on the street. Contrast. Open your menu and add these words to contrast. Ready? All right, conversely. On the other hand, on the contrary, in contrast, nevertheless. However, and nonetheless, these transition words and phrases can be used to stress the difference between two things. Sometimes I am surprised that my parents ever got together because they are complete opposites. A perfect example of this is the cars they drive. My all, mom all, always is always concerned about the environment, drives a small hybrid car that limits the amount of carbon it emits into the environment. What's a different uh, contrast word, transition word we can put here? My dad drives a large pickup that only gets 13 miles per gallon of gas. So can we just conversely? When Jessica and Monroe climbed into bed, the ground outside their window was bare, except for some leaves scattered across the lawn. Blank, when they woke up the next morning, five inches of snow blanketed their front yard. Jessica was content to stay inside and read her book by the warm fire. Her younger sister, Blank, bundled up, rushed outside, and began to play in the snow. We could do nevertheless and however. Okay. In 1775, American colonists were forced to take sides. Loyalists disagreed with many British laws, but they wanted to settle the dispute, disputes peacefully and remain part of Great Britain. Blank patriots wanted to separate from Great Britain and form an independent country. Which word fits best? In contrast. Could be any of them. All right, comparison. Open your menu and add these words to your comparison page. We have likewise and similarly. Okay. These transition words can be used to compare two ideas that share characteristics. Let's look at some examples. My piano teacher taught me to use the acronym Every Good Boy Does Fine to read the line notes on the treble clef. Blank, she taught me to use the acronym Good Boys Do Fine Always to read the line notes on the bass clef. Okay, so likewise, that's a good one to go right there. All right, there are animals all over the world that are in danger of becoming extinct because of deforestation practices. In the Amazon rainforest, the Yukari monkey is, no, is now endangered because its natural habitat is being destroyed by human activity. Similarity, similarly, koalas are under great threat because of excess tree clearing in areas of Australia. Okay. Your fingerprints are one of a kind. Not even identical twins have the same fingerprints. The ridges and lines found on your fingerprints don't look exactly like anyone else's. Blank the print left by your tongue is like no other person's on earth. The tiny bumps and ridges on your tongue create... Oh, you can't. 
There's your water. So what's the best transition word in the pit there? Likewise. All right, consequence. Turn to your consequence page. All right. We have, as a result, consequently, hence, for this reason, therefore, thus, and subsequently. Okay. These transition words and phrases can be used to alert readers to a cause and effect relationship. When Edgar got home from school, he cut into the banana cream pie his mo mom had left him in the refrigerator and devoured two large slices. Blank. As a result, his mom was furious when she began to serve pie to her book club guests later that evening and discovered that she didn't have enough for everyone or consequently or for this reason. The word tripod is derived from the Greek tri meaning three and pod meaning foot. Blank tripods can be used to refer to anything with three feet. What is the best transition word here? Thus. And remember, if it's about consequence, it could be any of these words. The principal at my school is my uncle. I've always called him Uncle Justin. Blank, it is difficult for me to remember to call him Mr. Whalen now that I attend his school. For this reason, therefore, okay. All right, emphasis. Turn to emphasis. This is when you're trying to emphasize a point. So most significantly, most importantly, in particular, Most of all, above all, obviously, huh? and clearly. These transition words and phrases can be used when a writer wants to emphasize a point. When I walked into the kitchen, my dad and my brother were sitting at the table eating, but neither was saying a word. Their spoons clinked against the sides of their cereal bowls, and they avoid, avoided looking at each other. Most importantly, they were both upset. Most of all, obviously, those are all good ones. Let's see what they say. Clearly, that's a good one too, clearly. All right. Princess Diana was the first wife of Prince Charles and the mother of Prince William and Prince Harry. She died when she was just 36 years old. Her activism and charisma endeared her to the public. She will be remembered for many things, including her shy smile and sense of fashion. Blank Princess Diana will be remembered for her dedication to helping the less fortunate in society. What transition word fits best here? Above all. all right. When the Spanish settlers arrived in New Spain, which is largely Mexico today, they said that they were protecting and caring for the native people and teaching them Christianity. In return, the native people were expected to repay the settlers with free labor, gold, and silver. Blank the settlers exploited the Native Americans. Most importantly, obviously, those are all good ones. All right, illustration, our last one. Um, add these words to your illustration page. So we should have... For example, for instance, and to illustrate. 
These transition phrases can be used when a writer wants to provide an example to make his or her point clear. Amnesia, a partial or total loss of memory, is usually caused by a head injury. They are, there are two types of amnesia, retrograde and anaerograde. People suffering from retrograde amnesia cannot remember things that happened before the accident. But they usually re remember basic motor skills. Blank, they might not remember a person they met or an event that happened, but they remember how to tie their shoes or ride a bike. For example, I think for example fits good there. When you think of creating something musical, what do you think of? Most people would say that they think of using voices or specific instruments. However, music is anything that combines rhythm and sound in a way that produces harmony and expression of emotion. Many things can be used to make music. For instance, glass bottles filled with varying amounts of water, an empty bucket, or even a blade of grass can create beautiful music. I like that one. Hummingbirds are tiny. The average weight of a hummingbird is less than a nickel. The name, the name hummingbird comes from the humming sound made by their wings, which they can beat up to 80 times per second. Their beating wings allow them to move in ways that other birds cannot. Hummingbirds can hover, fly sideways, and for example, for instance, it's a good one. Okay. Any of those three would fit. And last, let's fill out our summary page on the back. Okay. So this is when we're summing up or wrapping up. Like we would use these words in our conclusion or at the end of our stories. These are great transition words to use when you're wrapping things up. So all in all, in summary, In conclusion, to sum up, and after all. Okay. The blue ringed octopus is stunning, but is also deadly. About the size of a tennis ball, it has yellow skin with blue and black rings that can change color when the animal is threatened. It can be found in tide pools and coral reefs from Japan to Australia. It carries enough venom to kill up to 26 people. One sting can cause a person to go blind in seconds. Blank, if you ever see a blue ringed octopus, stay as far away as possible. In conclusion, all in all, to sum up, more than a million visitors travel to Amsterdam each year to view the largest collection of Van Gogh paintings and drawings. The artist born in 1853 is known today as one of the most talented painters of all time. Sadly, he lived his entire life in poverty and he suffered from mental illness. He only had one painting while he was alive. After this untimely death at age 37, his sister-in-law introduced his paintings to the world. Blank, Vincent van Gogh did not acquire fame and recognition until after his death. Which word best fits? It could be any of them. To summarize, that's a good one. We don't have that. So let's add that to summarize. That's not a, one of our ones we write down. I didn't write it down. You guys might have that written down. I forgot to write it if it was up there. All right. Have you ever heard the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? That's a proverb. There are many positive outcomes to eating apples. First, apples contain vitamin C, which boosts your immune system and keeps you healthy. Ripe apples contain 80% water and are low in calories, making them a great snack. Apples provide energy to the body. Furthermore, apples help prevent heart disease, some cancers, and tooth decay. Blank, there are many health benefits associated with eating apples. Which one do you guys think? All in all. All right, now you're going to do some practice, read the passes, and choose the word or phrase that best completes the par paragraph. There are only a few countries in the world that are surrounded by a larger country of all sides. Lesio, with a population of 2 million people, is encircled by the country of South Africa. 
blank Vatican City, the home of the Catholic Church, and San Marino, a small country of 37, are both surrounded by Italy. So look in your book. Are we comparing? Are we showing consequence, like cause and effect relationship? Are we comparing, contrasting, or showing similarities? Are we adding, putting emphasis, illustrating, or summing up? What do you think? Consequently, in contrast, likewise, or for instance. All right. So what do you guys think? Likewise, because we're showing similarities here. They're adding to the that the Vatican City is like less so where it is also surrounded, okay, by a larger country on all sides. All right, first line choices. Many people who hear the name Greenland assume that it is covered in lush green grass. Most parts of Greenland can't even grow enough grass to cover a soccer field. Greenland has very short summers and long winters. It also has the wrong kind of soil for growing grass. One legend indicates that Eric the Red named it Greenland to attract more settlers. Blank Greenland is a misleading name for a country predominantly covered in ice. Um, okay, so this sounds like a conclusion transition where you go here. And people often think it's green, but in most parts of Greenland can't even grow grass. So which one goes here? On the contrary, and to sum up. Good, I hope you guys got these right. All right, let's face it. Slapping on sunscreen is a bore. No one enjoys getting out of the swimming pool after 90 minutes just to reapply sunscreen. However, covering yourself with the appropriate amount of sunscreen is important. Kids who get just one blister, sun, blistering sunburn during their childhood double their chance of getting skin cancer later in life. Blank applying sunscreen is critically important for your long-term health. That sounds like a conclusion, clearly. All right. Venus is one of the Earth's neighbors. From a human's viewpoint on Earth, it sometimes looks like a bright star in the morning and evening skies. Like humans have nicknamed it morning star and evening star, even though it's not a star at all. Venus is a slow-moving planet. It has the slowest rotation speed of any planet in our solar system. 243 days pass on Earth before Venus completes just one rotation. Venus is the only planet in the solar system to rotate in a clockwise direction. Pause the video if you need more time to think about it. But we're going to say hence and furthermore because we're adding. All right, ostriches are birds that have many unique characteristics that are not shared by other birds. Blank ostriches cannot fly. They can blank run at speeds to close 45 miles per hour if they feel threatened. Another ostrich fact that you might be surprised to learn is that male ostr ostriches can make a roaring sound that is similar to a lion's roar. Right? Pause the video, guys, if you need more time to think about it. But we're going to say A and D. All right, guys, that's it for today. Remember to continue drafting your story. Also, um, you know, it goes all week. So you have your Weekend Wrap Junior, your current events for this week. It's a really cool one. Um, you have Because of Mr. Terrapt. You're going to find out what happens to Mr. Terrapt, um, the tragic event that happened to him, and you're going to see some character change happen. So I want you to keep your eye out for that and keep seeing and thinking critically about how your characters are adapting and changing to situations and who is changing and is there anyone that changes the most, okay? You have your motivation ELA, read your 20 minutes, and then your weekly language. Guys, we're almost there. Keep going. Don't stop. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing you guys online today. Let me know if you need me. And I'll see my homeroom at 1030 on Google Meet today and Miss Bowling's homeroom at 11 on Google Meet today.
All right. See you guys soon. Bye.